Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri is super easy to make and really packs a punch of flavor. You can serve it up over meat like steaks, chicken, or fish. You can serve it up over vegetables like roasted potatoes. Or one of my favorite ways to eat it is to dip in some toasted bread. Yum. To start, you'll need some parsley. I'm gonna use two bunches of flat leaf parsley here. Just chop off most of the leaves and don't worry about the stems and put those into either a food processor or a blender. Sometimes I like to use cilantro as well, which can add a little twist on the traditional chimichurri. Next, you'll need a head of garlic. You'll need about five cloves, so I'm gonna smash it to loosen up and break up that head and pull out five cloves. Grab a sharp knife and trim off the ends so you can easily remove the little paper shell. I'm actually gonna add in six because a couple of them were a little bit smaller, so I doubled up. So put those in the food processor. Then I'm gonna slice a lemon in half and we're gonna need to juice it. Each lemon has about a quarter cup, but of course, that always varies just a little bit based on the size and juiciness of your lemon. So approximately one lemon or a quarter cup of lemon juice. We'll pour that lemon juice into our food processor along with three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. We're almost done, just a few more ingredients. You'll also need one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and half a teaspoon of dried oregano. And last but not least, half a cup of good quality extra virgin olive oil. Then just pop the lid on and we'll pulse this until it's basically pureed. All right, I'm just gonna pour this into a little bowl for serving. And let me tell you, this is pure deliciousness right here. My husband is outside grilling up some steaks and bread and we are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.